The date is November the 2nd, 2023. And on a quest to be ever more efficient and less wasteful, I have decided to try a new drawer finish. Osmo Pollux Oil. High solid. Satin. All right, enough nonsense here. Okay. So the reason I want to try a new finish is partly about waste. And it's partly about efficiency. Problem is when I have small jobs like this, I have three drawer boxes to finish. Setting up the booth, the spray booth, and doing all that rigmarole is really a pain in the ass, frankly. I've been using a Sherwin-Williams product called Chem Aqua. It's just a clear coat. And I like it. It's spray only, but it sprays on nice, levels out great, super durable. I've been very happy with it. I've had this for quite a while, sitting on my shelf. I tried it once before, but I wasn't really, I don't think I did it right. So I'm trying it again. They sell this stuff as a floor finish, wood floors and furniture. So I'm not too worried about its durability in that regard. What I am concerned with is the resistance to chemicals. Now on the back of the can, it says, resistant against wine, beer, cola, coffee, tea, fruit juice, milk, and water. I don't think I have any of those things. Juice, I might have some juice. Gin and juice. Setting up the spray booth, which is set up right now actually, uh, is typically burdensome. Now I've tried shellac, I don't like shellac. It's kind of like, it's high gloss. I don't like polyurethane, especially the water-based stuff, that stuff. Mm. Oil-based is pretty nice, but that's long dry times there. So this stuff is eight to 10 hour recoat. I think you can, you can probably skirt that, you know, bring that down to four or five hours. Two coats minimum. Another reason I wanna get away from buying a whole gallon of, and then using like a quarter of it, is because I just made a huge chemical run got rid of like 20 cans of paint and I don't want that collection <laughs> to begin again. This stuff goes a long way. Can of this, I don't even know. 194 square feet, that's a lot. Well, I've kind of laid out the scenario. So now it's time to get started. I'll see you over at the bench here. We're gonna do the work on this bench right here. My drawer parts are prepared. Solid maple, sanded to 180 grit. I'm applying the finish. Two inch foam brush. I'm wiping it off with paper towel. This is oil based so it can get a little stinky. I don't think I'll have too much trouble. I don't have a lot to do here. I do wear gloves though. Just wiping it off with a microfiber rag. Uh, that is some smooth, some smooth stuff there. Okay. I have less than half a can, so I hope this, I hope this is enough. Okay, let me check. All right. That's what you're, uh... ooh, that's starting to look nice already. And then it says to immediately wipe it off. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and then for like 20 minutes, I think, and then come back and do the other side. Wait, all right, I'm gonna do one more with the close up.
Well, I got two coats on both sides. And I have to say, I'm not thrilled with the result here. I mean, it's like, it's okay. It's smooth, but not all that shiny. Now I did read on the can that you can buff this to make it look a little better. So I'm gonna try that. Give it a buff, see what happens. A little smoother. I don't know why, but the top edge is really nice and smooth. This is smooth, the face. Just not, I don't know. I just don't know, folks. Well, the important thing is what's next. The chemical resistance test. You always wanna make test pieces you're doing this type of stuff. Here's mine. Just a piece of maple, extra scrap. See, this one came out a little better. This has been buffed. Let's just get to this. I have a little bit of Coca-Cola. I don't drink that stuff. And I got some red sauce. I love me some red sauce. I'm just gonna slather it on and Wait about five minutes, maybe? Guess I'm not gonna slather that, but look at this. Ooh, oh boy. Oh, that's just a huge tomato. I'm probably just gonna chew right through it. Oh my God, this wasn't the test board. Just kidding. Think I'm that stupid? Come on. Come on now. Okay, so it's been about six minutes. I'm gonna just circle. And then I'll write sauce. Let's clean this up. Clean up this mess. Get this finishes met its match. Stain the shit out of it. Ah, it's all over me. Look at that, the red sauce stained a little bit. Red sauce left a stain. The uh, Coke, I don't think it. Yeah, I may have left, yeah, I left a little spot there. Um, it's really gonna be next to impossible to show you this. Super obvious. It just kind of looks like a dark spot. I'm gonna try cleaning it off with a little coke. See what happens. It's way. That actually. I mean. Yeah, I, I can't really see it. I don't know. Somewhat inconclusive, but it didn't destroy it. See what Coke does just to uh, just the raw maple. Raw maple. Get red sauce on there. Coke did almost nothing to it. Red sauce certainly did though. Yeah. Okay, having seen that actually makes me a little more optimistic about this because that's what it looks like with no finish. Big red spot. That's what it looks like with finish. Maybe it didn't 
penetrate. It didn't penetrate. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I'm actually really not seeing. I don't see any residual stain from the sauce or the Coke. That's okay. That makes me happy. All right. Let's wrap this thing up. So if you want to know what I think about this, I think I'll use this stuff. I think I'll use it on small jobs. Things that don't require a super tough finish. It's resistant, pretty resistant to uh, acids. Actually, looking at that spot where I did it, I, I can't, I can't even see it. And no point in even showing you on the, I mean, there we go. Yeah, and it still has, I buffed this again, hit it with the buffer. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't, I can't feel where it was, I can't see where it was. So that makes me pretty happy. I can't stop touching it. It seems to be getting softer as time goes. I don't know how long, I can still smell it. So I don't know how long this actually takes to cure, probably several days. But it, I swear, it seems like it's getting softer. Oh, it's smooth like silk. I, I can't make a direct comparison to silk. I forgot my silk handkerchief, I'm sorry. I usually have it right here in my pocket. But it is really, really soft. And that's another thing I like about this is that it doesn't feel like, it feels like I'm touching wood, not a coating. You know what I mean? It's just very, very soft. It's hard to describe, except soft. If you'd like to try this finish, I put some links in the description to everything I used. And um, not much more to say here. I think you'll like it. If you're looking for a natural finish that's not too complicated to install. I'm still trying to get, find a way to show you this sheen. It's in, like impossible. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'll see you on the next one. I'm done. It's been fun. I'll see you on the next one. Where the hell is that recording?